just experience his goodness over and over and over is there a witness in the house that our god is good i don't care what others may say we serve a living god we serve a god that is faithful and true and he is always always walking with us speaking to us living within us and i am just thrilled i am just thrilled to say i am a believer i am a child of the most high god he lives and he dwells within me i said he lives and he dwells within you 24 7 a faithful father Oh, the Holy Spirit, he lives in me. The Holy Spirit lives in me. Wow. <laughs> he lives in you. I mean, that's not anything small to think. The Holy of Holies, the living God, he has made his home in our hearts. And he is always with us. Would you give Praise you, Lord. I will bless the 
sure is crazy. You are absolutely right. I am crazy. I'm sold out. And I know how to get access to the throne room. you want to call me but I'll tell you what we will get you into the place of help into his presence into the presence of almighty God one more time because he is worthy and we are a church on fire for his presence
It's a river rushing over my soul. I'm free, I'm glad I am made whole. I've been made new. Let joy rise, let joy rise. Let joy rise. Come on, let joy, let joy.
this place, just begin to lift. Such a simple act, but it means so much. We thank you, God, for the ability to lift our hands and stretch them out to you. To call upon your grace, to call upon your mercy. Oh, he's an everlasting God. Oh, we thank you, God, you're an everlasting God. Oh, he changes not. We thank you, God, that we're in your hands. Oh, you carry us, God, in your mighty hands. So we stretch our hands to you. Everything that we have, we stretch our hands to you because you're worthy, oh God, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, Lord. As I lift my hands to heaven, let your fire fall down on me. Some of us just need to be stirred up again. It's always been there, but we need to stir it up again. And we thank you, oh God, that all we have to do is call upon the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Stir it up, oh God. Stir it up, oh Lord. to do is ask. Rekindle the fire within me, Lord. We're asking right now. Rekindle the fire within me, Lord. Once again. Hallelujah. Let us 
Lord, bless the Lord. Bless the 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 Lord. Praise God from who? true God, the great God, the God of creation, the God that created all the universe, you hung all the stars and the planets, you set everything into motion, so grand, so wondrous, so glorious a vision you had, and yet in the immensity of all that, you saw me, and you saw each and every one of us. And you were mindful of us, you loved us so much, that you sent your only begotten Son to stand in our stead so we would not have to be judged in our sins. Oh, we could spend a lifetime saying, thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord, that we are not condemned in our sins, but the Son has set us free. We are free indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thankful, Lord, that we have a life to live to serve you and to magnify you and to praise you and glorify you and exalt you above all other things in our lives. And oh, we're so excited about that future day. We call it our blessed hope, Lord. When you're coming for us, Father, and we're all going to be gathered together in glory. What a day of praise that is going to be. What a day of worship that is going to be around the throne of God. All of our loved ones. All those who have preceded us in the glory. All the Old Testament saints, all the New Testament saints that we have read about over the years will join together. We'll cry holy, we'll cry holy, we'll cry holy. Holy.
holy, Lord. You are holy, Lord. You are holy, Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy. Holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I hear the Lord say, I am the only one mm. that those words, holy, 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 can be ascribed to. Mm. For there is nothing that is holy on this earth apart from me, saith the Lord. You are holy because you were in me, and I am holy, therefore my blood and my dwelling in you makes you a holy heir. Mm. It makes you holy before Hallelujah. the throne room. When you declare my holiness, when you speak boldly that I am holy, do you know what? No weapon formed against you can prosper. When you declare that I am holy, what you are saying is that the old has passed away and behold, the new has come. When you declare my holiness, you are declaring that you can be holy in me. For I am the only one, I am the only God, I am the only person that lives and dwells in you, around you, and on this earth. Yes, I am on this earth, saith the Lord. I dwell in the midst of you, but I say I am the only one that can be ascribed to as holy, and I am holy, and everything about me is holy, saith the Lord. Bless my name, for I am holy. Hallelujah. 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 I bless your name. Hallelujah. I bless your name. the Lord God Almighty. I said, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you in the name that is above all other names, the holy name of Jesus Christ. We pray by faith according to your word. We pray for our loved ones, we pray miracle signs and wonders are manifest in their lives. Those on our prayer list, Lord, we pray that resurrection life touches them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you're the miracle worker. You're the promise keeper. You're the way maker, Lord, and we pray this is the hour. This is the hour of breakthrough and miracle and healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father God, that you're raising them up, strengthening bodies, encouraging souls and spirits and hearts. Thank you, Lord God, that you are 
tangibly real right where they're at. Touching their body. Touching their body. In Jesus' holy name. And the church said, amen and amen. Turn to a neighbor. Tell him, I'm so glad to see you today. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. You know, in the middle of the night, I was just praying over today's service, so that means I was praying over you. And as soon as you're all done visiting, I'll tell you the revelation I got. You want it? You want the revelation? I, you know... For somebody that's new and maybe you're not uh, familiar with the Pentecostal way, I just want you to know everything was biblical. Uh, the Holy Spirit gave us the greatest gift, and that's the ability to pray in other tongues. And when we pray in the Spirit, we, and that's what they call praying in other tongues, we are praying the perfect will of God. Amen. And there are some, uh, most uh, times when you uh, pray in tongues, you're just praying, you're edifying yourself, you're building yourself up, you're praising the Lord in a heavenly language, and that doesn't have to be interpreted. But then there is a tongue that comes to the house that everybody hears, and then that must be interpreted or it was out of order. And so we're big about order in this house, so you know that you're in a safe place here. Amen. Now to my revelation. So I was praying in tongues in the middle of the night for the service, as that is my custom. And as I was praying, I said, Lord, tomorrow we all get the opportunity, the opportunity to come into the house of the Lord and to worship him and to praise him together. And I thought, Lord, it's not that I got to go. I have an opportunity to go into the house and to be with like believers and praise the Lord and bless your name, Father. And then I thought, how sad that all over the world, many people have forfeited or overlooked the opportunity that they had to get into the corporate anointing. You can praise God at home, but something happens when you come into the house. Come on, my brother. Something happens when you come into the house. And you, me, and those sitting around you, they lift up their hands and they shout unto the Lord and they glorify his name. Something happens. You know what happens? Chains start breaking. Lies from the devil fall to the ground. When we come into the house of God and we bless his name, that is our opportunity to say, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I just kept praying. I don't know about you, but I'm full today. I'm full. I'm here for one purpose, to be obedient to him. And then I just kept praying in tongues. And I was praying for the word. The word, it sharpens us. It makes us quick. It makes us wise. There is no anointing apart from the word. I'm going to tell this side. I'll get a good amen. There is no anointing apart from the word. All right, I'll give you a second chance. There is no anointing apart from the word. Amen. 
No anointing. You know why? Because he is the word. He is the living word. And I was praying for Jamie and I was praying for the word. Oh, how we need the word. But the true pure word. Amen. And, and the Lord said, when the word is preached, the presence of God falls like no other time. Because the word of God, the Bible says the anointing, he is the living word. That it removes burdens and it destroys yokes. So today as pastor is praying, let me tell you, that word, we've been praying, let your fire fall upon me. This is what I saw. Can I have some, give me my Bible. This is what I saw. I'm telling you, if you don't know it, God is doing something new in this house. And you get ready for next Sunday. Don't you put a time limit on God? On the 24th, don't you put a time limit on God? Whatever God wants to do, that's what he's going to do. But... As we just sang, let your fire fall down on me. We kindle the fire. But this is what I saw. Think about the fire of God. When the word is preached and you hook up to the word, you don't think about McDonald's. You don't think about your roast. You think about the living word that is coming forth. Here's what happens. Here's what happens with the word. This is what I saw. If you're new, I'm not crazy. How many need a mind change? And I'm even messing up my hair for you all. But here's what happens when the anointing, the Bible says that the anointing turns you into another man. And the anointing comes by the word of God. So here's the word. It is on your head. It is changing the way you think. It is changing your mindsets. It's changing your beliefs. And then you know what? Then the word comes down. And this is all I see. The word, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord about you. Thus saith the Lord. Then it goes from there. Now, the thing the Lord was showing me is that everybody has an opportunity to be under the word, but they don't always take it. But you did today, so you will be blessed. So it goes down from my thought life, and it gets into my heart, and it begins to change me. When it gets into my heart, it begins to change us. Today, we are going to be changed. Amen. The word. Come on, say the word. We want the word. And it goes from my heart to the real me. It goes to my spirit, man. Everybody has an opportunity, but not everybody takes advantage. And the word, it gets into my spirit. And when it gets into my spirit, you know what happens? It begins to change how I walk. It begins to change the direction of my life. Everybody has an opportunity, but not everybody takes advantage. The Holy Spirit says the thing that we need above everything else is the word. The word. And we make a demand upon that word of God. The Holy Spirit said to me this morning, everyone is invited to the table. You don't have to worry about in God there being enough seats. And I do believe that standing, I see it so clearly, standing behind the seat that heaven has for you is your ministering angel. 
And when you come to sit at the table of his presence or the table of the word, you know what? The holy angels pull out the seat and they say, child of royalty, child of God, sit here and I'll push you up to the table. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are in a day, and, and the worship team was telling me, I said this, I don't remember saying it, but we are beyond the day of playing church. And I'm going to declare what I hear in my spirit. We are beyond the day of choosing, do I go, do I not? I do not know what God is doing, but I'm going to obey him. And you say, well, you know, there's enough people with church. That is not the issue. The issue is you need to be under the anointing. You need it like you need water. You need the word like you need water. You know, I sing up here and man, I get thirsty. Yeah, Rhea knows. I get thirsty. But I was reading before I came out, out of Psalm 42. As the deer pants for the water brooks. And right now I'm panting for the water brooks. But as the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, for the living God. Amen. My, the word says, my soul thirsts for you. So I'm telling you, church, we're going into our 11th year. And this is of the spirit. It's no rebuke at all. It's just saying, these are the days that we must be in the house of God. These are the days. Why? Because you're, you bring an anointing. You bring the presence of God. And when you walk in, just know that our Holy Spirit, that our Father just walked in with you. And because you are in Him and He is in you, you just change the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Would you give Him praise? Come on, give Him praise. Give Him praise. name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. supposed to be doing announcements but I want to say what God is saying multiplication of spirit multiplication of anointing multiplication of presence is at this house it's not that it's coming it has already come it has already come church he is here. And it is the anointing. Hear me. It is the anointing that draws the hurting. And as we were singing, all I want to do is love you, rekindle the fire. The Holy Spirit told me while I was up here, revival whatever you want to call it, an awakening, whatever it may be, it doesn't always look pretty. But I see a day coming very soon 
when we worship, you will be at the altar. You can't do it in your seat. You will come or you may just walk over to a corner all by yourself where you just want to be blinded by his presence. You want to be with him above all else. And hear this, the corporate anointing makes it easy for you to hook up with him. When you got Brother George playing for you, I mean, you know, that just makes it easy. But revival doesn't always look pretty. And where tears have not flown, they will begin to flow again. And you may have mascara coming down your face. Men, you're going to cry again. Our youth are going to cry again. I declare this by the name of Jesus Christ. We have an opportunity to enter in. Will we take it? Yeah. Can I just sing that, George? Flow like a river. Jamie, is this okay? I'm supposed to be doing announcements. You got a bulletin. Read it. I've worked hard on those bulletins, so read them. Flow like a river. That's the Holy Spirit. With streams of life. Flow like a river. Flow free. what I'm going to ask you. This was nowhere in the plans today. If you are standing, keep standing. If you want to stand, you can stand. But I'm asking as a house. My hair is all messed up, right? That's what happens when the fire hits your head. Let the fire hit our head. And then flow on down, Lord, and then flow out. Flow down through us and then flow out. But here's what I'm asking. Church, there are such glorious days ahead. And we don't ever want to put the work of the ministry above him. So I'm asking all of us, myself included, to rededicate our lives to him. Right now. Let's not be hard-hearted, but he's the best gift we've ever had. Amen. So would you stand with me? God, I give you strength. This, this is a holy moment for Grandview Church and for you that are watching online. This is a reset button. Reset. And you know what? When God resets, the fire falls. Amen. That's what happened on the day of Pentecost. The fire fell. So Heavenly Father, say this after me. Heavenly Father, I come to you today with all my love and all my adoration. And I just want you to know that you are the best thing that ever happened to me. And because of you, Blessings upon blessings continue to flow in my life. So right now, Holy Spirit, I declare that you are my father and I am your child. And I don't do anything 
apart from you. So I want to be found in you. And I ask you right now to recharge, make new, refresh my walk with you. And in the days ahead, I declare that I'm ready. I'm ready to be used. Use me up, Lord. Then fill me up. And then use me again, Lord. Because I declare that I am yours. Would you give him praise? Give him praise. me. Jamie always tells our leaders, eyeball to eyeball. Eyeball to eyeball, everybody, okay? It is 1102. What happened at 1101 doesn't matter anymore. What happened at 11 o'clock doesn't matter. You are new in Him. Amen? Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And bless His holy name. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise.
what the Lord has done. Look at what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He touched my soul. He saved me. And I declare your healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. No dementia. Amen. No confusion in the mental realm. He delivered us of all disease and all sickness. So I speak to the top. I speak to the mental realm. And I say, peace be still. Confusion to be gone. The anointing removes the burden, renews the weight, and it destroys the yoke. So right now, let the anointing fall upon you in the name of Jesus. I speak to the ears, to the eyes, to the sinuses, to the teeth, to the gums, to the jaws. Tension in the jaws be gone in the name of Jesus. I speak to this realm in the name of Jesus. And I say that by his stripes you were healed. By the stripes that Jesus took for your deliverance, it belongs to you. And we declare together that by your, his stripes you are healed. I speak to the neck. I speak to, to any, any lumps, any complication in the throat. No cancer. 
to the bones, that you're able to turn your head easily. You can lay down at night without pain or discomfort. I speak to the back and I declare every vertebrae, every bone structure, the ribs, the, the stomach, that the stomach be whole in Jesus' name. I come, I come against stress. I come against ulcers in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that the lungs are clear. The heart is clear. No pneumonia, no COVID, no sickness, anything that is named, the name of Jesus is greater. And so I thank you, Lord, that by your stripes they are healed. Lord, from the shoulders to the fingers, joints, joints, joints. Come on. If you've got an issue with joints, arthritis, just begin to move it in faith. I speak to the joints of the body. I speak to the knees. I speak to neuropathy in the feet. And I say, you be gone. You're a trespasser in the name of Jesus. I speak to blood issues in Jesus' name. I declare that blood flows freely. I thank you, Lord. White, white blood cells are in order and red blood cells are in order. I thank you for that in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that down through our body flows your DNA, your blood, and anything that does not line up with the Word of God has got to go in Jesus' name. I speak to the sciatic nerve in the name of Jesus, and I say you come into alignment now in Jesus' name. You come into alignment now. All tension in that nerve, release, let go. Be free in the name of Jesus. Lord, to the knees, I thank you that you are healing the knees. Father, if collagen, whatever it may be that needs to happen, you created us a long time ago. So recreate it again. And I speak to ears. There's a ringing in the ears. And I speak to that and I say, you be out of there. You be gone in the name of Jesus. Lord, from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. You redeemed us. You healed us. And you set us free. So we de I declare every generational curse is destroyed by the blood of the Lamb. Grandma may have had something. Mom and dad, brother, sister, I don't care. It could have been five generations back. But Lord, you said that we are redeemed from the curse. And so we receive our deliverance today. We receive our deliverance today. Now for those that don't have a hope of a future, you don't have a vision. God has a vision for you. And your purpose matters. That's why all this is happening today. Only God can do this. But you have a purpose. Don't miss your purpose. And you say, well, I don't know what it is. Then start where you are. Do what you know to do. Serve him with all of your heart. And as you serve him with all of your heart, you know, I'm looking at you people, but I do not see you. I don't see, I don't, I see you, but I don't see you. I'm just looking out of heaven. You have a purpose. And none of us know the day of arrival to heaven. When I thought I was dying... I told Jamie, I said, I'm not afraid of dying, but I am afraid of standing before him and him not being able to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That was my only concern. And the reason, because I hid behind Jamie, let him do the preaching. 
I'll, I'll, I'll sing, I'll do the music, but let him do the preaching. But from the time I was a little girl, I was called of God to preach the word. My playtime was lining up all my baby dolls and going and laying hands on them and saying, be saved, be healed, be set free in Jesus' name. That is what I did in my playtime. And then, you know, the devil brings a lie to you and to us. You're a girl. You're too young. You're too old. You're too this, you know. I don't care what your two is. He's greater than your two. I don't care what you find attractive right now. If it's greater than your two, then it greater than the call of God, you better let it go and you better let it go quick. None of us know when we're going to stand before him. But your greatest day on earth will be when you find out why God brought you here. God didn't bring you here and then decide, okay, I think I'll use Debbie this way. No, he had a need. And he said, Cheen and Frankie Crockett, you may not understand what you're getting ready to birth, but you are getting ready to birth a mighty woman of God called with my purpose same about you. Don't let anything steal your purpose. Don't let anything blind your purpose. Because every one of us are going to stand before God. And the only, you don't get to go with me. My car doesn't get to go with me. My doggies don't get to go with me. Jamie doesn't get to go with me. But should I go home tomorrow, which I think I'll live a very long time, but should I go home tomorrow, I want to be able to say, Father, I did what you called me to do. Even when it was uncomfortable, even when it was painful, even when my flesh was saying, no, do this, do that. I can say, God, with everything in, in me, and when I missed it, I missed it, and I repented. But I, I can stand before you and say, God, to my best ability, I believe that I did what you called me to do. Young, old, it doesn't matter. You know what? The young go home early, and the old go home early. But we are in a day... Listen, Jamie and I had a whole service planned out for today. He's got the most awesome message, and I'm taking up all of his time, but he keeps telling me, keep going. So I'm going to keep going. And I, I want you to know, young and old, old and young, and all in between, we do not have time to play church. And we do not have time to choose which path we're going to go on. You only got one path that is blessed. You can have the permissible path of God, or you can have the perfect path of God. You got one perfect path, and that is to do whatever he has put in your heart to do. And if you say, I don't know what that is, then you can read in the word. And what has he said? He said, serve the house. Come into the house. Come into the sanctuary with lifted up hands. Yesterday, as we were working on the property, I heard it over and over and over. Those people, they had more energy than I had. They were just going to town. And someone was going to buy some mulch, and I said, here, I'll go give you the money. And the person said, oh, no, you won't. This is my church. Come on. Now, if that doesn't say something, and then I'd go over to somebody else and I'd say, just sit down and rest. They had been raking and raking and raking. I said, sister, just sit down and rest. She said, no, this is my church. I heard that over and over and over. Everything, you got to hear this. Everything you do for this house, this is how it works. Every dollar you give, every penny you give, every bit of service that you give, you are giving it to God. 
But what happens because you're giving it to God, you are able to bless this house. So I thank the Lord for us, Grandview Church. You'll probably hear it next Sunday that we are very unique. I make no apologies for that. We are unique. Why? Because we're not a gathering. We are not a gathering that comes just to see who will show up. We are people. And our one, our one attention, our one attraction. God, are you here? Will you be here, Lord? And he says, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Amen. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Can you take me to I worship you, almighty God? Camille, will you come and lead it? I worship you, almighty God. my girl right there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm blessed. Yeah, I am. I know I am. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. We won't have my sermon. I think we've had a good sermon already, right? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you for Praise allowing me to follow God. Oh, man. I loved it. That was awesome. Praise the Lord. I wouldn't even try to follow that. Are you kidding me? There's, there's no way. No way I'd try to preach after that. That was awesome. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's, let's worship God with our offerings this morning. I think when we come on Wednesday, we'll dedicate the time to worship and prayer, pray in. Uh, the anointing for Sunday morning yeah. and just pray and believe God anointings on Dr. J and CC just be a, it'll be a time dedicated it'll be an hour power time dedicated to flood this house with his glory and I want you to come with expectation on Sunday in fact I want you to come early on Sunday next week bring friends and family let's pack it out let's fill the balcony on Sunday Let's build a balcony and fill a balcony on Sunday. And, uh, 
let's have the most Holy Ghost anointed service that we've had in 11 years. Amen? Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be wonderful? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ushers, get ready. Church, get ready. Say, I, say I'm ready to give. God is my source. He owns everything. Psalms 24 and 1 says, The earth is the Lord, and everything that is in it, the world, and all who live in it. Haggai 2 and 8 says, Silver is mine, the gold is mine, declares the Lord God Almighty. Paul tells us, You're not your own, you were bought with a price. We don't even own ourselves. The Lord owns us. Bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. It's all His. Everybody say, it's all His. It's It's not mine, it's His. But we are the stewards of what is His. He's given it to us that we can steward it. So all we need to ask ourselves is, what are we going to do with God's stuff today? (laughs) Including ourselves. How well are we going to steward what is God's? The earth is the Lord's. How well we, will we steward that? The gold and silver are the Lord's. How well we steward that? I am the Lord's. How well will I steward that? It's not mine. I'm just his money manager. I'm just his life manager. My life. As unto him, to glorify him, to magnify him. It's all his. What's in your wallet does not belong to you. It's all his. You yourself don't belong to you. You're his. What would we want? What would he want me to do with his stuff? Have you ever given your child something and you want them to do the best by it? You give them the keys to the car for the first time. (laughs) And you want them to treat it right. Right? It's not their car. It's your car. You're giving them the license to use it, but they don't own it. And you don't want them to bring it home banged up, beat up, (laughs) gas tank on empty with four flat tires. (laughs) No. You want that child to fill the tank up before they bring it on. Come on. Clean it out from the the McDonald's wrapper. And yeah, you want it nice, smell good by the time it comes home to you. It should be better. It should be better. Belongs to God. So as the ushers come forward, let's honor the Lord with our offerings. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to give unto you what already belongs to you, to sow into the kingdom of God. That is our highest priority, to see the kingdom of God expand in the earth today. So Lord, we take this seed, hold your seed up before the Lord. We take this seed, this opportunity, to sow good seed into good ground. We declare it shall bring forth a harvest of souls saved, bodies healed, lives changed. In Jesus' name we pray and we say amen. Amen. God bless you in your giving. I see you move. You move the mountains. And I believe I see you do it again. You made a way when there was no way. Oh!
going to be a magnificent week in your life. I want you to set yourself up for success and victory to say, this is the week the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Good things are going to happen in my life. Miracles, signs, and wonders are going to happen in my life. I'm the head. I'm not the tail. I'm the overcomer. I'm not the overcome. I am more than a conqueror. Devil, start running, because I'm going to chase you down. I'm going to kick you out of town. Hallelujah. Not Hallelujah. in my house. I'm kicking him out. Yeah, that's right. No Glory place. to God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you all. See you Wednesday night.